The Tata Group is an Indian multinational conglomerate headquartered in Mumbai. Established in 1868, it is India's largest conglomerate, with products and services in over 150 countries, and operations in 100 countries across six continents. Acknowledged as the founder of the Tata Group, Jamsat G. Tata is sometimes referred to as the father of Indian industry. The group gained international recognition after acquiring several global companies. Each Tata company operates independently under the guidance and supervision of its own board of directors and shareholders. Philanthropic trusts control over 66% of the Tata holding company Tata Sons, while the Tata family is a very small shareholder. As of 2022, the group had an estimated annual revenue of 190 US dollars billion. There are 29 publicly listed Tata Group companies with a combined market capitalization of 240 billion dollars as of 2022. Significant Tata Group affiliates include Tata Consultancy Services, Tata Consumer Products, Tata Motors, Tata Power, Tata Steel, Valtas, Titan Company, Tanishk. Tata Chemicals, Tata Communications, Trent, Tata Elksi, Indian Hotels Company, Air India, Taj Air, Tata Cleek, Tata Capital, Crom, Big Basket, and Tata Starbucks. Early Life Ratan Tata was born in Bombay, now Mumbai, during the British Raj, on December 28, 1937, and is the son of Naval Tata. His biological maternal grandmother had been the sister of High Rabbi Tata, wife of group founder Jamsat G. Tata. His biological grandfather, Hormus G. Tata, had belonged to the broader Tata family, Ratan therefore was a Tata by birth. Parents Naval and Sunu separated in 1948 when Ratan was 10, and he was subsequently raised by the widow of Sir Ratan G. Tata, his grandmother, Navahbai Tata who formally adopted him through the J.N. Petit Parsi orphanage. He has a half-brother, Noel Tata, with whom he was raised. His first language is Gujarati. He studied at the Campion School, Mumbai till the 8th class, followed by Cathedral and John Connan School, Mumbai, and at Bishop Cotton School in Shimla, and, in 1955, graduated from Riverdale Country School in New York City. In 1959, he then received a degree in architecture from Cornell University, and in 1975, attended the seven-week advanced management program of Harvard Business School an institution which he has since endowed. Career Promoted to management during the 1970s, Rattan achieved initial success by turning group company National Radio and Electronics around only to see it collapse during an economic slowdown. In 1991, J.R.D. Tata stepped down as chairman of Tata Sons, naming him his successor. When he settled down into the new role, he faced stiff resistance from many companies' heads, some of whom had spent decades in their respective companies and rose to become very powerful and influential due to the freedom to operate under J.R.D. Tata. He began replacing them by setting a retirement age, and then made individual companies report operationally to the group office and made each contribute some of their profit to build and use the Tata Group brand. Innovation was given priority and younger talent was infused and given responsibilities. Under his stewardship, overlapping operations in group companies were streamlined into a synergized whole with the Salt to Software Group exiting unrelated businesses to take on globalization. During the 21 years he led the Tata Group, revenues grew over 40 times, and profit, over 50 times. Where sales of the group as a whole, overwhelmingly came from commodities when he took over, the majority sales came from brands when he exited. He boldly got Tata T to acquire Tetley, Tata Motors to acquire Jaguar Land Rover and Tata Steel to acquire Chorus. All this turned Tata from a largely India-centric group into a global business, with over 65% revenues coming from operations and sales in over 100 countries. He conceptualized the Tata Nano Car. 
In 2015, he explained in an interview for the Harvard Business School's Creating Emerging Markets project, the development of the Tata Nano was significant because it helped put cars at a price point within reach of the average Indian consumer. Ratan Tata resigned his executive powers in the Tata Group on December 28, 2012, upon turning 75 and board of directors and legal division refused to appoint Cyrus Mistry as a successor of 44-year-old son of Palanji Mistry of the Shapurji Palanji Group the largest individual shareholder of the group and related by marriage. On October 24, 2016, Cyrus Mistry was removed as the chairman of Tata Sons and Ratan Tata was made interim chairman. The decision went through intense media scrutiny that made many scrutinize the root causes of the sudden removal, and the resultant crisis. A selection committee was formed to find a successor. The selection committee consisted of Mr. Tata, TV's group head Venushrini Vasan, Amit Chandra of Bain Capital, former diplomat Ronan Sen and Lord Kumar Bhattacharya. All of them, except Mr. Bhattacharya, were on the board of Tata Sons. On January 12, 2017, Natarajan Chandra Sekharan was named as the chairman of Tata Sons a role he assumed in February 2017. Tata invested personal savings in Snapdeal one of India's leading e-commerce websites and, in January 2016, T-Box, an online premium Indian tea seller, and Cashcaro.com, a discount coupons and cashback website. He has made small investments in both early and late-stage companies in India, such as INR 0.95 CR in Ola Cabs. In April 2015, it was reported that Tata had acquired a stake in Chinese smartphone startup Xiaomi. In 2016, he invested in Nestaway an online portal to find fully furnished flats for bachelors which later acquired Xenify to start family rental segment and online pet care portal, Dogspot. Tata Motors rolled out the first batch of Tiger electric vehicles from its Sanand plant in Gujarat, regarding which Ratan Tata said, Tiger indicates a willingness to fast-forward India's electric dream. The government has set an ambitious target to have only electric cars by 2030. Ratan Tata launched India's companionship startup for senior citizens, good fellows, in a bid to encourage intergenerational friendships. Tata Sons vs. Cyrus Mystery In one of the most dramatic developments in the recent past, the board of directors of Tata Group on October 24, 2016 voted for the removal of its chairman Cyrus Mystery with immediate effect and made Ratan Tata the interim chairman, and in February 2017, Mystery was removed as a director for Tata Sons. The National Company Law Appellate Tribunal had decided in December 2019 that the removal of Cyrus Mystery as the chairman of Tata Sons was illegal and that he should be reinstated. India's Supreme Court heard an appeal by the $111 billion conglomerate to quash the GLAT order that directed the Tata Group to rehire the man it fired as chairman. Ratan Tata is personally leading the charge in the case and filed a separate petition challenging the ruling in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has stayed the GLAT order that allowed Cyrus Mystery to be reinstated as Tata Sons chairman in January 2020. However the Supreme Court upheld the dismissal of Cyrus Mystery. Philanthropy Tata is a supporter of education, medicine, and rural development, and considered a leading philanthropist in India. Tata supported University of New South Wales Faculty of Engineering to develop capacitive deionization to provide improved water for challenged areas. Tata Hall at the University of California, San Diego, opened in November 2018, houses facilities for the biological and physical sciences and is the home of the Tata Institute for Genetics and Society. The Tata Institute for Genetics and Society is a binational institution that coordinates research between UC San Diego and research operations in India to assist in societal and infrastructure development in the area of combating vector-borne diseases. 
Tata Hall is named in recognition of a generous $70 million gift from Tata Trusts. Tata Education and Development Trust, a philanthropic affiliate of Tata Group, endowed a $28 million Tata Scholarship Fund that will allow Cornell University to provide financial aid to undergraduate students from India. The scholarship fund will support approximately 20 scholars at any given time and will ensure that the very best Indian students have access to Cornell, regardless of their financial circumstances. The scholarship will be awarded annually, recipients will receive the scholarship for the duration of their undergraduate study at Cornell. In 2010, Tata Group Companies and Tata Charities donated $50 million for the construction of an executive center at Harvard Business School. The executive center has been named Tata Hall, after Ratan Tata, Chairman Emeritus of Tata Sons. The total construction costs have been estimated at $100 million. Tata Hall is located in the northeast corner of the HBS campus and is devoted to the Harvard Business School's mid-career executive education program. It is seven stories tall, and about 155,000 gross square feet. It houses approximately 180 bedrooms, in addition to academic and multi-purpose spaces. Tata Consultancy Services has given the largest ever donation by a company to Carnegie Mellon University for a facility to research cognitive systems and autonomous vehicles. TCS donated $35 million for this grand 48,000-square-foot building that is called TCS Hall. In 2014, Tata Group endowed the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay, and formed the Tata Center for Technology and Design to develop design and engineering principles suited to the needs of people and communities with limited resources. They gave $950 million to the institute which was the largest ever donation received in its history. Tata Trusts under the chairmanship of Ratan Tata provided a grant of $750 million to the Center for Neuroscience, Indian Institute of Science to study mechanisms underlying the cause of Alzheimer's disease and to evolve methods for its early diagnosis and treatment. This grant was to be spread over five years starting in 2014. Tata Group under the leadership of Ratan Tata formed the MIT Tata Center of Technology and Design at Massachusetts Institute of Technology with a mission to address the challenges of resource-constrained communities, with an initial focus on India. Board Memberships and Affiliations Ratan Tata was the interim chairman of Tata Sons. He continues to head the main two Tata Trusts Sir Durabji Tata and Allied Trusts and Sir Ratan Tata Trust and their Allied Trusts, with a combined stake of 66% in Tata Sons, Tata Group's holding company. He has served in various capacities in organizations in India and abroad. He is a member of Prime Minister's Council on Trade and Industry and the National Manufacturing Competitiveness Council. He is on the jury panel of Pritzker Architecture Prize considered to be one of the world's premier architecture prizes. He is a director on the boards of Alcoa Incorporated, Mandala's International and Board of Governors of the East-West Center. He is also a member of the Board of Trustees of University of Southern California, Harvard Business School Board of Dean's Advisors, X Prize, and Cornell University. He is a member on the Board of International Advisory Council at Bocconi University. He is also a member of the Harvard Business School India Advisory Board since 2006 and previously a member of the Harvard Business School Asia-Pacific Advisory Board 2001-2006. In 2013, he was appointed to the Board of Trustees of the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace. In February 2015, Ratan took an advisory role at Colliery Capital, a venture capital firm founded by Vonicola. In October 2016, Tata Sons removed Cyrus Mystery as its chairman, nearly four years after he took over the reins of the over $100 billion conglomerate. Ratan Tata made a comeback, taking over the company's interim boss for four months. On January 12, 2017, Natarajan Chandrasekharan was named as the chairman of Tata Sons, a role he assumed in February 2017. Honors and Awards 
Ratan Tata received the Padma Bhushan in 2000 and Padma Vibhushan in 2008, the third and second highest civilian honours awarded by the Government of India. In 2021 he received the highest civilian award of Assam Assam Babe Have for his exceptional contribution towards furthering cancer care in Assam. Other awards include Personal Life In 2011, Ratan Tata stated, I came close to getting married four times and each time I backed off in fear or for one reason or another. Ratan Tata stated recently that he loved one girl in Los Angeles while working there. As his family member was ill, he had to return to India but the parents of the girl didn't allow her to come to India with Tata. So, Tata stood by his commitment and never married. 